Leia here from LeiaForSci.com, and in this video, we'll finish our discussion of the SN2 reaction by analyzing a tricky mechanism. If this is the first video you're seeing, be sure to go back to part 1 and part 2 where I introduce the reaction and explain the rate and mechanism. In this reaction, we'll see what happens when you try to react methanol with HBr. We'll use the checklist to analyze the alkyl chain leaving group attacking nucleophile and solvent to determine that an SN2 reaction can take place. If you're not familiar with this checklist, visit my website layerforsci.com slash substitution dash elimination where you will find a video explaining each of these concepts including what they are and what to look for in substitution and elimination reactions. Looking at the alkyl chain, we have a CH3 bound to an OH meaning we have our leaving group sitting on a methyl. Since methyl cannot form a stable carbocation, we rule out the one type reactions, meaning SO1 and E1. And since we don't have another carbon with which to create a double bond, we also rule out the E2 mechanism because you need to have two carbons to create that elimination double bond. That means the only possible reaction for methanol would be SN2. Let's skip the leaving group for a moment and look at the attacking molecule. We're given HBr. We don't know what solvent it's in, so we're assuming that's our only focus. If we break HBr apart, we're left with an H plus and a Br minus, and in this case, we would assume the Br minus is the attacking molecule. Now, bromide is a terrible base, but we've already ruled out elimination, so that's not a concern. Br minus, as a large halogen, makes a good nucleophile, so we can have an SN2 reaction. We're not given a solvent, so we won't worry about it. But now let's go back to the leaving group. OH on the molecule is neutral, but if OH breaks away or gets kicked out, we're going to be left with an OH minus in solution. Say we try to show this reaction as Br kicking out OH, giving me CH3Br and OH minus in solution. You run into a problem. OH minus, which is so strong and has such a concentrated negative charge, is going to attack the carbon right back, kicking out the bromine, in other words, it's the reverse reaction, not the forward reaction, that is favored in this scenario. In other words, OH- is a terrible leaving group. In fact, it's so bad, it won't leave. So we have to do something else to initiate this reaction. My students often ask me, how do you know what to do in a reaction mechanism without memorizing the next step? And my answer is very simple. Find the molecule or the atom that is most positive, and then ask yourself, how do I get rid of that positive charge? Because if you can sum up all of the organic chemistry mechanisms into one simple sentence, it's nucleophile attacks electrophile. Applying the shortcut here, we have a partially positive hydrogen on a partially negative bromine. We also have a partially negative oxygen on our methanol molecule. True to our principle, of nucleophile attacks electrophile, the oxygen will grab the hydrogen that's attached to bromine, breaking the bond between hydrogen and bromine. Let's change the color of hydrogen so we can track its progress in the reaction, and show the intermediate which has a CH3 bound to an oxygen, bound to an initial purple hydrogen, bound to the green hydrogen that it attacked, with only one lone pair of electrons and a positive charge. We're also left with a Br- in solution. Let's revisit our checklist and see if SN2 is now possible. Once again, we have the alkyl chain, which is still a methyl, meaning we want SN2. Our leaving group is no longer a neutral, bad OH-, but instead we have a positively charged oxygen. When you have an oxonium, meaning a positive oxygen on a molecule, it's very happy to leave because when oxygen leaves, it takes the bonding electrons with itself, forming a neutral and stable water molecule in solution. In other words, what started out as a terrible leaving group is now a very good leaving group. Moving on to bromine, we said that it's a decent nucleophile for an SN2 reaction, and now it's able to attack. There's one more thing you want to consider. If the axonium is such a good leaving group, you tend to expect the oxygen to leave by itself giving you a carbocation, and this would be the case if we were looking at something that had a secondary, tertiary, or resonant stabilized carbocation intermediate because those are capable of holding a charge. In this case, methyl cannot hold a positive charge, so even though oxygen wants to leave, it will not be able to break away from the methyl by itself. But because it wants to leave so badly, it does pull on the electrons that bind it to methyl, making that carbon very partially positive. 
Bromine, which is a good nucleophile, is attracted to that partially positive carbon, forming a bond between carbon to itself and breaking the oxygen off of the molecule. This gives us our final desired product of CH3 bound to Br and the neutral stable water molecule in solution. Now pay attention to the colors of this water molecule. Notice that we have the purple OH, which was our initial bad leaving group. We have the green hydrogen that came from HBr and made it into a good leaving group. We have its first lone pair of electrons, and then we have the electrons that used to bind it to carbon. Now let's talk about the SN2 mechanism for a moment. You've learned that SN2 is a one-step reaction because it's bimolecular, and that's still the case. The initial or preliminary step where oxygen reached out for the hydrogen, think of that as your activation or protonation step, where your acid catalyst does what a catalyst does best and activates the molecule to make it possible for the reaction to occur. I worked through many more SN2 reactions in great detail, ranging from simple to tricky questions on my membership site, Additional information can be found at studyhall.layerforsci.com forward slash join. Again, that's studyhall.layerforsci.com slash join. You can also find my complete series on substitution and elimination reactions on my website, layerforsci.com slash substitution dash elimination. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, download my ebook. 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry using the link below or visit layofersci.com slash orgo secrets. That's O-R-G-O secrets. For information regarding online tutoring, visit layofersci.com slash orgo tutor. That's O-R-G-O tutor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and even share it with a friend or two. If you have any questions regarding this video, Leave a comment below or contact me through my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Leofersai. There will be many related videos posted over the course of the semester, so go ahead and click the subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out.